hello guys this is my first video it's going to be an unboxing video um, actually the box is already open because the, um, the knife I was using wasn't very sharp so it was taking too long and I decided to cut that part out um, I ordered some things from an Italian lab internet site um, called Le Rune I'm going to post a link down below and well the thing I ordered is this very beautiful shield um, it's made by Iron Fortress, it's from their Epic Armory line. You probably have heard of Epic Armory uh, if you are into LARP. It's very, very famous. It was for 65 euros, which is 57 or 58 uh, um, US dollars. And well, it's 60 centimeters of diameter, so it's 23 or 24 inches. Uh, uh, and well, it's very very beautiful. Uh, it it looked like a little bit fake uh, on photo on the internet, but having it here, I can see it looks almost real. I mean, it looks like uh, it's really really made of uh, food, and the effects on the parts that are um, supposed to be iron actually looks like iron and well the handle is not my favorite type of handle it's uh, just some straps I don't really like straps for the part that you need to grab with your hand I don't like I don't think it's very very firm uh, I prefer a handle uh, made with a grip made of, out of foam or wood I don't, I don't know uh, the materials used for the handles. I think uh, they are the same uh, materials used for the shield, which is an Eva foam. And well, this one, if you look at the description, it says that the straps are made out of leather. And I've seen other shields from Epic Harmony with leather straps, but this one isn't uh, leather, it's some kind of canvas, which uh, pisses me off a little bit. I mean, why say that it's leather if it's not leather? And well, it's still very, very sturdy. I mean, look at this. <laughs> you just need to, uh, to. You just need to find the right uh, measurements, the right side. And well, I think I'm going to be okay with this. Uh, it's for a barbarian type character, uh, for my local LARP uh, group, which is called Secoli Bui. And I would have preferred a shield with a shield boss, like a viking shield, uh, because they had shield bosses. Uh, it, uh, the, a shield boss is needed to deflect uh, blows to the, to the shield. And, but that kind of shield was very very pricey, it was for over 100 euros, and it had an historical um, grip. It really had an historical grip. Yeah, I know it sounds strange. I mean, it's for LARPing. You don't actually need uh, to be historically accurate. And well, um, I had thought about buying uh, one like that, uh, even with an historical grip, because I really, really like Viking history. But I think that uh, this kind of uh, grip is going to be more comfortable for me in the long run, even if it's not you know, historically accurate. And well, it's going to be uh, part of the gear for my first LARP ever, which is awesome. I'm very, very excited. I've waited years for this. Uh, when I was in my teen years, um, I'm currently in my 20s, uh, I, have, I had heard of LARP, but there weren't many LARPing uh, groups here. And I was very, very shy at the time, so even if they were there, I didn't really want to travel with them because, you know, social anxiety or something like that. <clears throat> and, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and sorry for the, for the bad quality and, you know, the fingers here. Because, well, I've made this with, uh, with my cell phone. <laughs> And I'm so, so sorry for my English, it's not my first language, I think you can tell. Uh, goodbye!